Here at WKYC, we try to do our part to encourage early literacy for kids who may not have that chance in Cleveland's inner city. Our Leon Bibb shows us the work being done in the city's Huff neighborhood. Each one of these people listens to a reader recite from a book, which easily could have been part of the life story of each person here. The elderly listeners hear stories which seem so familiar. On a quiet corner of Cleveland's Huff neighborhood are residents of the Eliza Bryant Village, a home for the aged. The words which hold them are from the warmth of other suns. The book chronicles the lives of three black families who migrated from the American South to cities in the North and the West. The Great Migration would become a turning point in history. It would transform urban America and recast the social and political order of every city. This project is called Huff Reads. It focuses on a community with a mission to encourage reading and improve the literacy rate. Today, volunteers read from Isabel Wilkerson's Pulitzer Prize winning book. We selected uh, Warmth of Other Sons because we felt like that this would be a story that they would resonate with, that, you know, many of them. The night clouds were closing in on the Salt Licks east of the Oxbow. Here, 20th century stories of migrating black families unfold. For the Eliza Bryant Village residents, the sagas leap from the pages. Many of the residents identify, for theirs are the same stories of having left the South for better lives in the industrial North and the opening West. But there is more to the lesson. It lets them know that their stories do matter. And I think that yeah. that came across at that event. This project is the brainchild of Channel 3's Margaret Bernstein. The goal is to increase literacy and appreciation and love of the written word. I've read that book. It touched me. Um, my, my grandparents lived that story. Here, this story takes a personal turn for me. My parents were part of the Great Migration. Both left their homes in Alabama and found new lives in Cleveland. My father, Leon, and my mother, Georgia, separately migrated to 1940 Cleveland. The book, The Warmth of Other Sons, could have been my parents' stories as well. This house on Cleveland's East 86th Street was the home of my great uncle and great aunt, Jim and Cora Bibb. In 1940, when their nephew, my father, came up to Cleveland from the South, they took him in. Dad lived right here. He was part of the Great Migration. Around the corner was my mother, also from the South. She too part of the Great Migration. Mother and dad would get together soon. So the graying images of my parents and their youth leap from the old photographs. When combined with the words about the Great Migration, I get a better picture of the way they were. Many of the residents of this Cleveland facility have their own images, many of them mental, which they call upon as the story of the migration of people unfolds. By blood, I am a descendant of the Great Migration. It would not end until the 1970s and would set into motion changes, changes in, in the, the North, North and South that no one, not even the people doing the leaving, could have imagined at the start of it or dreamed would take nearly a lifetime to play out. A reading circle, yes. But more than that, story of a people's history, and of a city, and of a nation. Between 1916 and 1970, more than six million blacks migrated from the South to the North and West for better jobs and conditions. The movement changed the face of Cleveland and much of America. For Channel 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.